if you follow today's tutorial, you'll learn how to design this flat illustration of a woman that's reading using Illustrator in just a few steps. Hey designers, we haven't done an exercise in a while. Let's start by creating this minimal illustration today. I'll take the pen tool and I already have the sketch placed inside the document and set to multiply. If you want to follow along, you can definitely do that by downloading the sketch that should be in the description of this video. Start with the head. As you can see, you already have some of the lines over here that are making up this illustration. Let's change this color to maybe something like that. Hit OK and then hit this swap fill and stroke. Make sure to deselect it and when you select it again, you can actually increase its size. Let's say four points. This is the size we're going to work with. For the details on the face, I'll start with this eyebrow and actually continue it with the nose. Let's go here to the stroke panel and actually change it to be rounded. Now for the eyes, I'm actually going to take the ellipse tool and create some small eyes and actually make them at like 330 degrees while holding down the alt key or the option key you can actually make a duplicate of the eye and for the mouth i'm actually going to take the curvature tool and create a small element like this if you want for the character to be mad then you can then just reverse it and she's gonna be super confused or mad at what she's reading but i prefer it to be happy let's do this element as well make sure to follow along with the line that's the ear with this selected i'm actually going to start tracing the hair as you can see the hair goes like over here and then you have the ear let's do the neck and then create the remainder of the element i'm trying to simplify it a bit and actually have less anchors let's close it off and now uh, we can either leave it like this but what i prefer doing is actually swapping it out and now you have the dark hair now i don't want the face to have all of these elements so with it selected place a point over here with the pen tool so place it over here and with the direct selection tool make sure to select it and hit backspace once that way it's going to actually be removed and now we can actually make this rounded as well. The idea for this illustration actually came from Unsplash. I was browsing along and <laughs> was looking at some photography and I saw a picture of somebody who was reading. You can see the photograph that I used as reference on the screen right now. So of course the next step was to actually sketch something out and try to create something very similar. Let's create these top two elements as well. For the book, I want it to be the same color as the hair. So I'm going to sample it and then just draw. Uh, let's zoom in and make it easier to see what I'm doing over here. So I'm trying to make all of these corners rounded. I was thinking about this even from the sketch. If you have corners that are maybe too straight, then it's going to look pretty, pretty bad in my opinion. That's usually a tell of somebody who just started working out in Illustrator whenever you see corners that are straight. So for example, this is a straight corner corner what i would do click on it once with the direct selection tool and actually smooth it out the hair is going to be the same color as this and let's take the ellipse tool and create a couple of ellipses rotate it around and then make duplicates by holding down alt or the option key let's make the final duplicate make it smaller and now with the direct selection tool i'm going to select this point and actually drag it a bit now the issue is that this actually didn't get masked by the face so what i'm going to do is actually send this behind so arrange send to back and now you have this on the front and let's see what happens if i give it a white fill double click on the fill go to the color select it and now this has helped there's not a lot to this illustration but i also want to explore a bit how i can make this a bit more interesting so whenever i'm thinking about somebody who's reading uh, the first thing that comes into my mind is actually a cup of tea <laughs> so maybe i'm going to create something that represents a cup of tea and incorporate it somehow in the illustrations so you don't have only a character in the illustration you also have some supporting elements as well now that you have all of these elements you can actually disable the sketch and work on the illustration to make it look better in the illustration right now it's pretty clear that the stroke is too small so i'm going to take the magic wand and click once on the stroke and that will select all of the strokes that have the same values and actually increase it a bit we need to get rid of this element let's zoom in select both of them and using the shape builder tool that's shift m actually hold down alt and get rid of that element for the cup of tea element you can actually choose any color you'd like any accent double click and make sure to play around see what works for you for example let's choose this purple and i'm going to create the cup so this is the top of the cup right click arrange send back and align it with the dress for this to work i'm going to actually try to arrange it with the dress that way 
it looks like it's part of the illustration. Now I'm going to create this bottom part, go up and then close this off. Of course, I need to select it, arrange, send back. And then of course we need a handle. I'm going to actually use the curvature tool to create that handle to have a more interesting look. This is the first part. Again, with both of them selected, arrange, send to back. And now I'm going to actually duplicate this. Command C, Command F, paste in front and make it smaller. And of course, with eyedropper tool, select the white part. Lessen these behind the cup. <laughs> this is a bit uh, too big, so I'm going to make it smaller. Hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Let me know what you think. And if this was helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more. Also, make sure to check out the comments because that's where I'll leave the sketch and the final exercise file. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.